Hey there YouTube fans, AC Productions here. Today I'm going to be showing you on how to install this air horn by Wolo called a Big Bad Max. Here's the, how it looks like on the other side. Now we could all contest that our horns on our bikes do not sound very well. Here's something that happened to me while I was riding with a friend. As you can see that this car doesn't even look before turning into the lane and goes into my lane obviously i honk my horn but it looks like the driver didn't even pay attention but i know what you're gonna say you're gonna say but afonso loud pipes save lives well as you can see on my bike right here i do have a loud exhaust it's a two brothers full exhaust and if you would like to see a video i have a link in the description up above this video uh, directly to that video on how to install this exhaust but anyhow that's not exactly entirely true as by rev bombing if you're in traffic or we're not or you're going to be cutting through cars and you're rev bombing honestly when you're in a car and you, you you don't hear a bike until it passes you no matter how loud your exhaust is. so you'll just hear the you know, pass by <laughs> And that's when you hear the exhaust if you're stuck in traffic and you're riding you could rev bomb all you want which it sounds like this for me and my bike now guess where the sound is coming from it's coming from the back so making noise from people behind you you want people in front of you to know that you're coming you need a loud horn in the front to tell people in the front hey i'm coming by or you know look out or whatever from the front so therefore that's the whole reason for this installation now if you guys are not really interested on watching the video on how to install this uh, air horn on your bike and you just want to really get to on how the air horn sounds please go to the description box and over there I will have timestamps of the actual sounding of the horn. Click on the timestamp that you are most interested in and it'll take you directly to that portion of the video. Alrighty guys, so here's gonna be the tools that you're gonna need to do this um, installation. We're gonna need negative and positive cables or we could go with a positive and negative cable that's all together. We have our heat shrink tubing for our female spade connectors. We have our fuse with a 20 amp, oh, it says two there, but it's really 20, a 20 amp amp fuse we have our positive and negative ring connectors wires uh, strippers pliers to actually crimp the spade connectors and we got our snips over here to snip the cables and then now obviously we have our relay which is right here all right so let's get started on making the harness go with the cable that has the positive and negative cable already together uh, so you want to pretty much just measure uh, for the whole length of the bike from the back end of the battery towards the front where the horn's going to be I would say that's probably a around five to six feet we're gonna get the ends we're gonna cut right here in the middle so we could actually separate them once we do that we're gonna go ahead and splice them and then twist the ends and the and what we're gonna put over here are going to be these female spade connectors all right so from the once we do the spade connectors and on this end we're gonna go ahead on the positive end we're gonna hook up our fuse we're gonna go ahead and splice this end and then splice that end and then before we do that we want to make sure we put our heat shrink tubing there and then put this together this part is going to have our our ring terminal right here which is always going to be the negative so we're going to go ahead and splice and put ring terminal here like this and then we're going to put the ring terminal on the positive on this end so it should pretty much look like that okay now they got this part as you can see i haven't put my ring terminals because on my bike i have a little bit of a different setup all right anyhow uh, after that we're going to need to make another small wire uh, to connect the horn to the relay so for that we're just going to grab some single wire and i would say probably around I would say to be on the safe side, let's do four inches of wire. So grab our, our cable and we'll do around four inches of uh, cable. And then we're going to go ahead and snip it, splice it, and put our spade connectors on each end, a female on each end. So it'll be one on this side and obviously one on the other side. And we're going to splice it like this, put one female end on one end. This part we're going to leave open for now. Same thing with this one. We're going to go ahead and put a female end on this side and leave this part as we're going to, that other end we're actually going to put together like this. So go ahead and put the two ends together and twist it because that's going to go into one and then this is going to be one for our air horn and this one's going to be for our stock horn all right so first we are going to grab our uh, positive wire and we're going to connect it to the positive part of the air horn let me turn this around so if you look closely at the air horn you are going to see a positive and a negative there we go here is the positive here is the negative terminal so let's go ahead and grab our positive wire connect one positive to this side and then we're going to grab the other uh, horn see the positive will be on this side but look at your horn to see how the where the positive and negative but i don't think on our stock horn it really matters as there is no indication of a positive and negative anywhere on the horn so i don't believe there's a, a any you know right or wrong way 
So go ahead and let's uh, install that part in. Now, actually, before I forget, now <laughs> the reason we have the, the heat shrink tubing is let's go, let's go ahead and cut out the pieces for the heat shrink tubing. And let's go ahead and put it on all our spade connectors. So we're going to cut a little piece and put it on there. And then once we get it on there, go ahead and uh, heat shrink the tube onto the, the spade connectors. All right, so here is how it looks like with the heat shrink tubing already on the spade connectors on all of them. All right, so let's go ahead, like I said, let's go ahead and connect our positive to the positive terminal of the air horn, which is right here. Go ahead and slide that in there. Make sure you slide it in all the way. All right, so that's all the way in. I'm gonna go ahead and get my uh, other lead and we're gonna connect it to our, our stock horn. Make sure you slide that in all the way. All right, so now uh, we're gonna, this part is gonna connect to the relay. Now on the relay, it's going to be the number 87 on the relay. Now this side is 86, 85, 87 on the top, 30 on the bottom. So it, it's all numbered. So the top one over here on the relay is number 87. So we're just gonna go ahead and slide that in. Make sure you slide it in all the way. I haven't shrunk this too because I want to make sure I get it all the way in and then I could just slide this over and then uh, heat shrink that part so that way the whole entire terminal is actually covered up. All right so now that we got our positive uh, part already in now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our negative cable which is right here and right here. Uh, don't worry about this part I actually had to cut the part off of the of the main uh, cable to show you this before we get onto the bike. So grab our negative and we're going to go to the negative point of the air horn. So let's go ahead and do that. Make sure when you put it in just slide it in as far as it could go and you can't push it anymore. All right so now we got the negative on the air horn let's go to the negative on our stock horn so we're gonna go to negative on the stock horn all right so that's that okay now that we got both horns already connected next what we're gonna do is we are gonna go to the bike now and we are gonna connect our factory horn terminal so when we had disconnected these we're gonna use those factory connectors and we're gonna attach it to the relay now I don't think that there is a, a difference if you connect um, the 85 positive or negative or 86 positive or negative I don't think it really matters so uh, we're going to go ahead and do that and then lastly we're going to connect our positive cable once we get to the bike we're going to go ahead and we're going to connect our positive cable coming from directly from the battery and that's going to go to the 30 number 30 on the on the relay all right so let's go over to the bike and let's go go and install that now before i go there i'm going to go ahead and install a custom bracket that i did for the air horn so here is the bracket that i made i know it's kind of hard to see let me see if i get that background so you guys can see it better so pretty much it's just a bracket that i had laying around of sheet metal with the has a thousand little holes on it uh, you could use a regular sheet metal with no holes on it but this one with the holes makes it a lot easier for me uh, you're gonna have to make a hole a bit hole big enough for the air horn I mean this hole is gonna go to the stock part of the bike there is a kind of a funky bend to it uh, that's just to accommodate the position of where I'm gonna have the horn in the on the bike I'm actually gonna have the horn like this and this part's gonna be facing out towards the front of the bike and this part's gonna be towards the back of the bike so if I were to put this on there I'm gonna show you that in a second but pretty much in essence the bracket's gonna go like this and this part's going to go onto the bike. So let me go ahead and install this uh, onto the onto the horn so you guys could see it in all its glory and how it's going to actually look like. Alrighty guys, it's looking a little bit on the messy side of my bike, but on your bike, make sure you have everything correct, uh, connected and wired nicely as I'm doing a, a couple videos actually right now. So that's why I haven't permanently wired everything. But as you can see, we have our positive connected to the battery. Here's the positive with the fuse. Negative obviously goes to the negative side of the battery. Then you want to make sure you have all the cabling and everything wired neatly behind behind the scenes on the frame of the bike going down towards the front and then when you go towards the front of the bike as you could see right over here again I have everything kind of uh, messy but pretty much like I said yours is going to be a lot more neater than mine we have our stock horn everything's already wired it was a pretty much a tight fit but as you could see there is the horn let me go ahead and move the steering so you guys go uh, well I guess better be good but as you can see perfect uh, spot for the horn which is right over there and I attached it I'm not sure if you guys could see me uh alrighty guys if you guys could see that bolt right right there that's where i actually put the horn uh so that was a good mounting spot for it now again it was a very tight uh, way to get in there and that bolt is going to be a 10 millimeter size uh socket which i actually op used an open end wrench all right but now that i got that in there uh and if you guys are wondering about how close it is to the exhaust well it's, it's not even really that close to the exhaust there's at least i would say which is really super hard to show you guys but as you can see right there uh, to the exhaust there's at least two inches between that part that I'm moving and the exhaust which is right over there that brown part 
So uh, that's looking to be a good spot for it. Having it towards the front, you know, that's where you want uh, the sound to come from. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of tighten it. As you can see, I had to remove this because I do have the front guard over here. If you guys don't have this, you don't have to worry about it. It makes it a lot more easier for you guys. But for me, I had to remove this so I could get in there. So now it's going to be, for me, I'm going to have to go ahead and make an extension from here, which is the positive going from the battery to the horn on the positive and then the negative, obviously, to the negative. All right, guys, I already connected the wiring. We got to see it now because... I already tidied up kind of everything but I already put the wiring in for the horn ran the cables up through here all right so as you can see there's the cables coming up through here over here and then I have uh, the little connectors right here to extend the cables from uh, the power leads from the horn to the relay and as you can see I have it installed right there actually there was a bolt here that actually has two nuts on it so one nut I don't know why it's double nutted which sounds funny uh, but I just loosen up that nut and then uh, slide this made the hole a little bit bigger on the relay slide it through and then tighten this nut on the relay which is pretty much a really good spot right there it's kind of away from everything and then obviously all the cables coming in from the relay to the other horn so let's give it a test let's see how it sounds okay so I'm gonna go ahead I'm just gonna hit it twice and then I'll give it a nice long press on the button so you guys could hear it wow that sucker is loud all right so definitely a big difference Alrighty guys, so I pretty much already tidied up everything on the bike. Now to do, we're going to do a sound test. I know it's not going to sound as good as it does in real life. Alright, so here we go. guys so that pretty much concludes the video if you guys enjoyed the video smash that like button if you haven't yet subscribed don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell that way you guys are up to date with my latest videos and if you know anyone else that's looking to do a horn upgrade please share my videos and who knows it could help another person out uh definitely for this uh you know this safety is a very big thing for me so anytime i'm looking for a safety equipment i'll install it do a video for you guys if you dislike the video smash the dislike button let me know in the comments below on why you dislike the video because it will help me produce better content as i do review all the comments so help me out uh, for future videos and catch you guys on the next video thanks for watching